Transitional light. This is one of the things that's important. The reason I wanted you guys here because I want us to start being ready to start shooting right as the sun goes down. A couple of key factors that I want you to uh, look at here. So the question you, in transitional light, and one of the reasons I like the people to practice with transitional light is for them to start understanding at what point can I no longer use my sights effectively? Meaning I can see the target, I can identify the target as a threat, but I put the gun up there and now I can't see my sights at all. And there are specific lighting conditions where that starts to become a thing where I can see the target, I can identify it as a threat, but now my, my sights are useless unless I have night sights. For the most part, once it gets dark enough for that to be an issue, I should probably be using a white light anyway to identify the target. But there are rare exceptions to that. When does the white light start to help you shoot as well as see the threat? And this is the other thing, if you guys have used, I've had the opportunity to shoot a lot in low light environments before I could ever get night sights on the guns, right? The, my days in the Marine Corps with the Beretta, we didn't have night sights. So we had to play a lot with trying to learn to shoot in the dark without the use of night sights. One of the things that I find is initially you go, this is great. When the gun goes off, I get this white flash of light and I get this perfectly silhouetted set of sights on the gun. But the problem is when I start making multiple shots quickly, my brain is still looking at that first flash. And then as I shoot, the gun starts to drift away off target, but I'm still thinking I see where that first set of sights are. You have to work through this in transitional light. Now, if you're running a red dot on your gun, this is a non-issue, but if you're running uh, night sights on your gun, it's not really an issue. But if you're running non-night sight iron sights on your gun, and you start shooting rapidly during that transitional light where I can still see what's going on, but it's starting to get dark, I'm starting to get light adaptated, your brain takes a flash picture of that first uh, sight picture. And what I typically see is most people, they shoot their next couple of shots and the shots start vertically stringing on the target. Sometimes they'll go off to the left or the right, but for the most part, they start to drop and go low. And then the other piece is, um, and this is important, muzzle flash and how it affects your vision. When we're using bright white light, doesn't really have that much of an effect, but if you're using the certain types of ammunition without flash retardants in the powder, it can dramatically affect your ability to see. I've had a couple different types of ammunition over the years where we've tried to do night shoots with them, and as soon as you start shooting them, that extremely white, bright flash that comes out of the muzzle kind of ruins you. It's almost like somebody hitting you in the face with a flashlight and all of a sudden you're having, a, you're seeing spots and you can't see really well. So I highly suggest, we're not going to do it here because it takes a really long time, but I highly suggest that you take the opportunity at some point to take your carry ammo out and shoot it in the dark so that you know what that's going to look like. Most quality, high quality defensive ammunition has flash retardants in the powder that not only change the brightness, but also change the color. We're trying to get away from the white uh, or the really bright yellow and have more of a reddish or a or darker yellow uh, flash. It's much easier for your eyes to deal with. Those really bad white balls of flame, which we used to see years ago in ammunition, is really horrible for you to try to shoot with, especially with iron sights. To keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. For questions, go to langdontactical.com. And to keep up to date with all the new stuff from Langdon Tactical, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Langdon Tactical.